Hey, it's Tommy. I wanted to fill you in on what's going on with the deer. Um, the deer vet came just about two weeks ago on uh, the 17th, October 17th, so maybe a week and a half ago. Um, he had the tranquilizer gun, uh, the dart gun, um, but the deer, they're usually calm when it's just me, but with the stranger, uh, stranger to them, they kind of flipped out. They started, um, like within 30 seconds of him being in the pen, they were running in circles, running in figure eights. They were slamming themselves into the fence. There was blood going everywhere. Um, I really thought that we were going to have a, uh, a dead deer and the vet kind of thought that too so uh, just within a few minutes he asked if we could reschedule and uh, come up with some kind of a plan so so let me show you what the plan is let me get through here he suggested that we put that we put a deer blind inside the deer pen and then what he intends to do is uh when, he, when he's coming monday this coming monday the 31st halloween day um he's just going to come straight to straight to this blind you know unzip it and get in and got a little bucket set up in there for him to sit on but then that way he could be out of sight out of mind from the deer and they can calm down pretty quick Let's see where they are so then when he gets in the blind they'll uh, they'll calm down and then he can start uh, shooting darts at him. So I do plan on, I do plan on, uh, you know, pushing the deer to the side that he's on. There's no point in allowing them to run to the other side. Uh, the dart gun won't shoot that far anyway. So, and we need to dart all, all six deer, so. Um, so that's, that's the plan. Um, I did get permission to record, so I'm going to try to record, uh, him darting a couple of the deer and it's spooked. They were just right there eating just a moment ago where I had their food laid out. Something startled them. Anyway, um, so I think I'm also going to move their feed over closer to that, uh, that blind. I'll probably do that tomorrow, and then uh, that way there'll be a couple of days where their food dishes are there, and maybe with the vet in the blind, maybe I'll go dump some corn out for them, something, kind of confuse them, or maybe they'll... I don't know. I don't know how a deer thinks, but, you know, do everything I can to get these deer darted without stressing them out and uh, get them darted safely so they'll um, still wake up. But yet the test will be able to be performed. Um, it is a blood draw, so he does plan on drawing, drawing a little bit of blood. I don't know if he taps into a vein in the neck or in the leg I'm not really sure uh, where but I suspect that I'm going to learn that on Monday and I plan on recording that so I'm going to have the old videos cleared out of, of my phone so that there'll be space to record um, he'll probably be here for a couple of hours 
but um, one of them's coming back to the feed dish, so. Yeah, they're all coming back now. It's like, follow the leader. I want to show you what I found um, yesterday. Now, there's not much green in here. This particular green is those uh, uh, thistles, or they're, they're prickly, they, they hurt. So the deer don't like to eat those. But I found this, this little scrape right here. Where he's, uh, Now, I didn't notice this, so, and, uh, before yesterday, yesterday's when I saw it, and I don't see anything on the ground that tells me that it's super fresh, so it's rained a time or two since that has been made, but I'm kind of surprised that that little tree didn't get eaten a long time ago, so, <laughs> but... It was something for him to rub his head on. So I've been calling the little boy, I call him my one point. One of his antlers uh, is just barely a button. So he, just a little round hump. So you can't, cannot, yeah. Bleh, who taught me how to talk? You can't count that as a point, but the other side, he's got a one inch little sharp thing. And uh, so I call him my little one point baby boy. So the rut's gonna be coming in here in the next week, maybe two weeks. So I hope he's mature enough and I hope to get a couple babies. Um, well, at least five. I guess probably up to 10. I want to see if we can get... Uh, he's not going to let me that close to him. When I have the bucket in my hand of the food, that's when he will kind of come close. But let me see if I can get close enough with the camera. It's his right, so it's our left when we're looking at him that is like the one point. But I just hope to get at least one piebald baby out of him. And then I'm torn whether I wanna sell the piebald or, or keep it. Guess we'll just see what happens. Let's see if we have any first. So, all right. Well, I will. Um, I will plan on recording as much as I can on Monday. Uh, it's supposed to be 10 a.m. when he's supposed to get here. Um, so I had to take another day off of work for that. But. It's okay. That's what PTO time is for, right? So, <laughs> all right. Well, I will, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.